Star from Electropus. Hello, my name is Gezaria Deklarasta Parabawana. Hello, my name is Dibian Kalamhak. And my name is Isaura Katrali Armani. Our mentor is Dr. Anas Raden Kurniawan and PBS. We come from MTS and Subanung City. We have some experience about robotics that are finalists of Madrasa Robotics Competition 2019 and first winner of Madrasa Robotics Competition 2020. The category of Underwater Challenge ROV is an underwater robot competition that challenges participants to move objects in the form of marbles from one place to another by using remote control or RC. While the problem is moving an underwater object from one place to another to the destination. Method that we use is the experimental method of making underwater robots ROV, and the result is creation of an underwater robot in the ROV category that is able to move an underwater object from one place to another. That is MDA. So the conclusion is to move an underwater object from one place to another as desired. Underwater robots can do it. The challenge mission is creating an underwater robot in the ROV category. That is able to move underwater object from one place to another as desired. The challenge mission can be broken down into small tasks. The small tasks are first, designing underwater robot, second, assembling underwater robot, third, conducting several underwater robot performance tests, fourth, analyzing underwater robot performance, and the last is improving or overcoming obstacles underwater robot performance. The whole mission can be completed if the small tasks are carried out. Tools and resources that are used to create an underwater robot are First, the waterproof box. This box serves to hold water from entering inside the box, so it doesn't get wet. Second is the remote control. Remote control as an underwater robot control works by providing a signal or value that sent to the microcontroller. Third is the microcontroller Arduino Nano. Arduino Nano function as a robot brain to drive a DC motor based on value received by remote control. Fourth, the driver motor. The driver motor has function as a controller regulator current flowing in the DC motor, so it can adjust speed for the DC motor. Fifth, the DC motor. DC motor has function as a propeller drive. Sixth, the propeller. The propeller has function as a driving force for the robot, so that it can move forward, backward, and turn. Seventh, the regulator. The regulator has function as DC voltage lowering from 12 volt to 5 volt as a voltage. And the last is the battery. The battery serves a source of energy for the robot that has DC voltage and DC electric current. The application of the component that we have discussed earlier is installed to design a robotic technology system. Remote control is a controller transmit signal via radio wave and received by Arduino Nano microcontroller and so on. After that, it process and controlling the driver motor to drive the DC motor, so that propeller can move under the water and the robot can operate under water. The advantage using tools and resources can be used to create an underwater robot in the ROV category that is controlled using a remote control. Choosing a wireless remote control is more efficient than using cable because the robot can move freely without being limited by cables. Flowchart that we use to create an underwater robot are the robot will start the program. If the robot doesn't get signal from the remote control, the, the program will repeat. But if the robot receives signal from the remote control, the driver motor and the ESC will work so that it can drive the DC motor. After we designing our robot, our robot is doing well as planned. If our robot does not work properly, there are several possibilities. The possibilities are First, the electronic component in the robot are sorting due to being exposed by water that is entering inside of the robot. Second, the brushless, the brushless motor is damaged or corroded, so it's unable to move. Third, the battery is low on energy. The last is, the remote control cannot send signal or the signal conductivity is low. To overcome the problem, the following steps are carried out. First, replace the electronic components and repair the leaking robot's body so it's become waterproof. Second, replace the brushless motor if it's badly damaged or spray it with lubricating oil to shed dirt and rust if the brushless motor moves slowly. 
Third, recharge the battery or replace it with a new battery. Fourth, re replace the robot control battery or bring the robot control closer to the robot when the robot is working. We were going to measure the aquarium that we use. First, the aquarium length is 105 cm. Aquarium height is 40 cm. And the wipe is 50 cm. Fourth, distance from prime to the basket is 40 cm. Also, the weight of the basket is 10 cm. Robot weighs about 600 grams. Next, the width of robot is 15 cm. And its length is 20 cm. Last, the robot height is 13 cm.
Saksi ini desain dengan ada warna kategori RV Reboot that is able to move an object from one place to another. If we ask to solve the same challenge again, we will create a smarter robot. A robot that is able to move faster and press itself on an object that will be moved to the port destination without using the remote control. We have many learning experiences. For example, are we study on the water robot from zero. In the spirit of exploring robotics, we, we, we try step by step by using limited facilities. After being able to make a robot, we test the robot using a school garden pond then using an ornamental feature for you. Next, when we were going to take part in the 2020 MRC event, we started to practice using an aquarium that was in accordance with the competition specification. Our team also often does flying tests with the robotics team from Manwan Bandung City. Thank God, Alhamdulillah, we won the best point in the underwater robot category at the 2020 MRC event. By studying underwater robots, we gain contextual knowledge about the components of electronic components and their function in assembling robots, as well as getting more insight into the importance of robots in human life, especially underwater robots. This is because Indonesia, which has the Great Ocean, needs robotic tools for explore more resources for the prosperity of the nation. Through the online underwater robot challenge, we gain experience and knowledge on how to compete through cyberspace. So that in addition to being required to have knowledge about the robotics and how to operate it, they must also be able to collaborate with the ability to use IT. Things that we want to share with other underwater participants are First, keep enriched the knowledge and expertise in the field of robotic technology because it will be very beneficial for the prosperity and dignity of the nation. Second, the COVID-19 pandemic is not an obstacle for achievement even though we have to compete through the cyberspace. And last, limited facilities are not an obstacle to creating the robotic field. However, strong determination is the main asset to make dreams come true. We hope that we will get the opportunity to participate in the Underwater Challenge AUB and ROV Open activities and get achievement. Hopefully, by participating in this activity can spark the motivation of MTEX and the students in Bandung to be more active in studying for achievement, achievement especially in the field of robotic technology. Thank you! Wassalamualaikum!